Welcome to Shawl Set Sail. On this trip, we are going to be on the Oasis of the Seas, not once, but twice. Every Thanksgiving, we like to get the family together and take a cruise. So we told the kids that we would do Thanksgiving with them, and then another one in January for those that could not attend during Thanksgiving. We did the same itinerary for both cruises. Our stops were Perfect Day at Coco Cay, Cozumel, Honduras, and Costa Maya. The purple tubes are part of the Ultimate Abyss Dry Slide. This is where you enter the slide. I got up early to walk along the Royal Promenade. And yes, that is a car on a ship. The Bionic Bar. No bartender needed. A look at the casino in the early morning hours. If you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, hit the notification bell for more videos like this, and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow us during the World Cruise, December 2023 through September 2024. Here is the room tour of our balcony room, room 12294. And this is room 12214, also a balcony. As you can see, not much difference. So our first stop was Coco Cay. We did two different excursions on Coco Cay. On Thanksgiving week, we did the Thrill Water Park, and in January, we did the Cocoa Beach Club. The water slides were absolutely amazing. The dueling slides were so fast. The Cocoa Beach Club was very calming, relaxing, beautiful views. An awesome lunch was included in this excursion. We were able to tour the cabanas. They were gorgeous. Off to Cozumel, Mexico. In Cozumel, Mexico, we did the exact same excursion for both cruises. So we took a jeep tour, and the first stop was to jump into a cenote. And a cenote is just a natural pit or sinkhole resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes the groundwater. We jumped from 15 feet into a 70 foot hole. Sorry about the video, I had no clue there was water spots on it. Our tour guide for nearly five minutes told us not to jump in with any rings, necklaces, phones, 
watches, it will get lost. This is the moment you just made a thousand dollar mistake. Tom thought his Velcro was strong enough on his swimming trunks that it would not get lost. After several attempts to find the iPhone, we had to move on with the rest of the excursion. After jumping in the cenote, we did a few stops along the way, and then we stopped to taste some tequila. That tequila did not taste like anything in the U.S. It was a thousand times better. Then we got to see a very cool blowhole. We did some snorkeling just before lunch. Now we are off to Roatan, Honduras. The first time we were in Honduras at Thanksgiving, we did not expect this coming outside the port. However, our tour operator had a great sign and we were able to find them right away. I guess helmets are optional. Interesting. In Roatan, we used Roatan 5 Star Tours. They were an awesome tour group. We took a bus ride to their facilities and the first thing we saw was a monkey. We got on the boat and then did three snorkeling adventures. The last one was a shipwreck. Yes, that is a sea snake, but we also got to see a stingray, a turtle, and a shark. On the boat, we got to jump in from the lower level or the upper level. We had such a great time. And the crew was awesome. They gave us homemade banana bread after we were done. And of course the monkey was waiting for us once we got off the boat. Next stop, Costa Maya. We did the Chacobin Mayan City and Bacalar Lagoon with lunch afterwards. We use the tour group Check Ek Costa Maya. I'll leave a link in the description below. When we did the tour at Thanksgiving, it was pouring the rain, so it was nice to see this all dry. Our tour guide did a wonderful job explaining the history of the Mayans. We then stopped at the Bacalar Lagoon. This lagoon was awesome. Our tour guide said it was the Maldives of Mexico. Very crystal clear blue waters. The natives call it Bacalar Lagoon of seven colors. Where they took us, the water was warm and not very deep. Our awesome tour guide got lunch, got my passport stamped, and back on the ship. The main dining room.
So on the Thanksgiving cruise we had the old menu, and on the January cruise we had the new menu. One of the formal nights we ate at Chop's Grill. Some of the food you see here is from the January cruise where we did the three restaurant package. We did eat breakfast at Johnny Rockets one morning. Of course I caught the crew doing what they do best, keeping the ship in ship shape. We did laser tag in January and we had a blast. They closed off the ice arena and set this up. Entertainment aboard the Oasis of the Sea was phenomenal. The ice show was just spectacular. This is what the Aqua Theater looks like during the day. And if we thought the ice show was spectacular, the Aqua Show was phenomenal. Of course, our cabin steward left towel animals, but we one-upped them. Our cabin stewards just love these, and we're taking selfies with them. We stopped at Next Cruise to book our future cruises. This just gives you an idea of what Thanksgiving looks like on a cruise ship. It's sad, but we have to leave now.